Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a special one. I am gonna be showing you guys probably the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. It is a pink lab created diamond. So if you guys love colored rings, stay tuned. You wouldn't wanna miss this video. All right, we're gonna get right into the video. I have the ring in this beautiful little box. And when I saw this, I had to catch my breath. I'm gonna be honest, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna zoom right in so you guys can see. There she is. The pink is a pale, it's like a light fancy pink. This is a lab created diamond, not a moissanite. And I will talk through the, the differences a little bit later in this video. So I just wanted to show you guys the ring first. So it is a radiant cut. This is in an 18 carat equivalent. So when we say equivalent, we mean the size, even though carat weights are based on weight because lab created stones and moissanites don't weigh the same as diamonds. So what we do so that customers understand sizing, we use an equivalent kind of process, which means if this was made into a diamond, it would be equivalent to an 18 carat diamond stone. So this is a radiant and this is in a crushed ice. So I don't know if you can see that, that this is a crushed ice version. It's got beautiful facets is absolutely stunning and one of the things I love most about this ring is the two-tone basket so you might be able to see that the basket is actually two-toned there is white gold and rose gold prongs so we like to do that when we are doing any sort of colored stone to try and match the stone to the metal just so that it looks really seamless from above so the claws are rose gold and the stone is pink now if this was a yellow diamond a yellow lab created diamond we would probably be doing yellow gold prongs but in this case we just decided to do the rose gold because of the pink stone you can see it doesn't have a hidden halo it's a very simple setting really sturdy setting and it's just stunning. It's just making the stone do all the talking. So here is the ring again. Please excuse my nails, guys. I do need to get them done. But I just wanna show you guys this on the finger. Now I am a size seven um, ring finger. So I'm an average, probably a little bit large, larger than most. Um, so you can see that this stone, this 18 carat, really covers the majority width of my finger. You wanna have a think about that when you're creating and designing your own ring, how much coverage you want on the finger. Sometimes people don't like as much coverage as this because they want it to still look a little bit natural. So if you want the kind of natural looking stone, you might want to go down a little bit in size, but I think the bigger the better. Um, I absolutely love large stones. You guys know I have a real passion for large stones, which is why I created this business. But you can kind of see there, the profile is amazing. It's not super tall considering the size of the stone. We do various color variations of pink. Now pink can be done in a moissanite, but it's not the same. So we do a pink uh, lab created stones in two different types. We do a lab created diamond, which is equivalent to a natural diamond. What that means is it's um, the same hardness as a diamond. So it's a hardness of 10 and to the naked eye, it is pretty much like a diamond. It will pass a diamond test, etc. Now, if we're making it out of a moissanite stone and if we're growing a lab created moissanite, it's still gonna look very similar. However, when it comes to pink stones, they have to be colored, which sort of changes the finish of the stone. I personally think when it comes to pink stones, lab created diamonds are the way to go if you're really wanting a high quality product or else the moissanite is gonna be a colored stone. So effectively, they're kind of like tinting it and painting it. I don't know about you, but 
when a stone looks so beautiful and it's got all these dimensions, it's usually because it's cut in a certain way and the color goes throughout the stone. That's not gonna be the case when you have a moissanite. So this is a lab created diamond. The yellow stones, however, can be grown and created into moissanites. So yellow, blue, green, gray, I believe are the colors that we can do in moissanite. Any other color outside of that will be a colored stone if it's a moissanite. Now, I would suggest if you want pink, I would go a lab created diamond, or you can actually do a sapphire as well. And sapphires can, can be done. Um, in multiple colors. This is sort of how it looks on the hand. You've probably been looking at it this whole time. The lighting is making this look a lot pale, paler than it is in reality. In reality, it's this beautiful light pink, a little bit purple kind of coloring. And you can kind of see in the shadows there that it's got this light pink effect, light pink, slightly lilac color. It is absolutely stunning. I get so many compliments when I wear this ring. And yes, this is my ring. I ordered it for myself for my birthday. It is a present to myself. However, um, I can make them on request. So obviously we do all custom made jewelry. So any ring that you're wanting, if you're wanting something particular, if you're wanting to recreate a ring that, you know, maybe was your mother's or um, a ring that you want for travel and you want to leave your real ring at home, we do all of that stuff as well. Everything is custom made. So why not create exactly what you want to specification? And that is the beauty about using a lab created diamond or a lab created moissanite is that you can get something that's so close to a diamond looking ring that 95% of people or higher aren't even gonna notice. Now, obviously I love really large stones. So, you know, people always ask me, is it real? What kind of stone is that? Because they know because of the size that it's probably not gonna be a real diamond. Now, if you want your ring to look like a natural diamond, I would suggest anything smaller than a five carat. So five carat, four, three, two, one, any of those carat sizes would be passable as uh, a, a natural diamond ring. Give you guys another little look here. It's a really simple radiant. This ratio is a little bit chubby. I decided to go for something a little bit chunky this time around. Normally they're a little bit more elongated. I will show you guys this up against my 14 carat moissanite. This is my 14 carat radiant this is a moissanite and um, this one is more of a standard radiant ratio you can kind of see it's very long elongating this ring is beautiful for elongating the finger if you guys have chubby fingers if you're concerned that a ring is going to make your finger look a bit chubby and fat i would really consider a radiant or an elongated cushion cut or an emerald something that's going to elongate the hand um, and you can kind of see the comparison here these are both crushed ice cuts so this one is a radiant crushed ice and this one is the pink 14 carat versus an 18 carat the ratio of this is a little bit more unusual a little bit more chubby this one has the petal basket which is that beautiful diamante basket and it's got a knife edge band this has got a standard uh, i believe it's a two millimeter band so it's you know Oh, it might be two and a half actually. It's kind of a bit of a chubby band, whereas this one is a knife edge band. Very popular at Tiffany's, this kind of band. And this is a really slimming, delicate band as well in compared to this one. But I'm loving the two-tone effect here and I, I definitely will be doing a lot more of this. I feel like it really adds this detail and finish to the ring that just makes it exquisite. The rose gold is not too rose. Um, looking it is not too pink or too orange it is just quite subtle sort of like a champagne gold but a rose gold champagne like a rosé let's call it a rosé finish so there you go do you absolutely love it and 
what stone size have you been thinking about for your ring? I would love to know your comments down below and love to know what is a common carrot size that people are wanting at the moment? Do you want something believable or do you want something like a celebrity ring that is, you know, 10 carats or 15 or 20 carats big. Now we create all our rings from scratch. We grow them in a lab and we can do up to a hundred carats. That's right, a hundred carats. No one would ever wear a hundred carat ring on their finger, but we have done pendants in the past that are a hundred carats, which have been probably around about maybe roughly that big. So probably not as huge as you think, but we do, we do have the machine to do it. And we're one of the very few places in the world that can actually do, actually grow lab created diamonds to that size. So we are a specialist in large stones. So if you guys are wanting a large stone, hit me up. I'll give you a quote within a couple of days and we can go from there. Well, there you go, guys. What do you think of my new pink radiant? Is it absolutely gorgeous? I am absolutely in love. I love big bougie rings and I also am in love with colors and I've been sort of dreaming about giving myself a ring every birthday as a bit of a celebration. So this year it was this pink radiant 18 carat. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I inspired you and I hope to see you next time in my next video. Thank you.